this time, sir. Big chapters and some drama portion, right? Yes. Yeah, sir. So yeah, you have also this uh, math exam today, right? If I yes, sir. It was, it went very very well. Good good. Uh, congratulations, Master. Good good. Yes, sir. Good. So, yeah, and all the best for the next one, English one, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so yeah, uh, now let us uh, six question we did right now and the seventh one we also did. So again, sorry to bother you guys. Again, we have to do these uh, questions. So okay, the countdown begins now, right? So eighth question we have this uh, polynomial and uh, this is. Uh, and we have to find out what is uh, alpha plus what is uh, this we have to find. Okay, you guys, please uh, do this question and uh, it is the answer. And uh, Abir, you have influenced uh, DJ3. Just a moment ago, ago she was uh, using the forbidden word. Sir, sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Tejasvi was uh, so there was no mistake of Tejasvi, and Tejasvi was saying sorry for that. Yes. Just like you did in the previous class yesterday. So that is why I'm saying that you have influenced Tejasvi. Okay, so yeah. Uh, please try this question, guys, and uh, check it out. So I'm getting minus three by seven. Good, so it is. So how were the questions, uh, Abhir, in the math exam? How were the questions? Sir, I think I took too much tension because most of the, all of them were pretty easy, especially for applications. I was worried because I didn't practice a lot of the examples, but yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. Good, good. So, yeah, in the previous exam, TSP was also taking the same. So now, you guys, whenever you guys tell me that the question paper were easy, then that makes me really happy. That makes me think uh, that, uh, yeah, we have done that, you know. Good. Yes, which sir. That, yes, sir. Which means that you guys have uh, practiced or worked uh, so hard. Sir, I also got minus three by seven. Good. And uh, Amira, you have to also buckle up, right? Sir, I'm getting minus seven by three. Minus seven by three? Seven by four. Mm, okay. Seven by four. Okay. So, okay. So, let us, good, good. So, whatever, right or wrong, we just uh, tell the answer. Good, good, everybody. So, we have to find out uh, this one. But we have learned that uh, we only know this thing. Whenever some uh, quadratic polynomial is given, we know this one. We know that uh, this is minus 3 by 4 and uh, this is uh, 7 by 4, right? So uh, when we, and uh, the second thing, the most important uh, thing that we know, the simplification. This always uh, comes in, right? Oh, simplification. So this we have to always remember, right? So which means that we have to simplify this thing. And let's see what do we get. So this is 1 by alpha, 1 by beta. And we take the LCM, this is alpha into beta. And this alpha beta is divided by alpha, so we get uh, beta. And then plus beta divided by alpha beta, so we get alpha. So we can rearrange this because this is a plus sign, so alpha plus beta. And uh, this is alpha. Beta. 
and we already know what are these values. So minus three by four divided by uh, seven by four. So this uh, minus uh, this division becomes multiplication, and we we reciprocate uh, this one. So this would be four by seven. So this cancels, and we have uh, three by four. Right. So this would be the answer. Uh, is that uh, clear, Amina? Yes, sir. Good. Uh, so then, what is the next uh, question? Find the zero. So zeros you can find. It. So we can put that. Find the value of k such that yeah. So the tenth one. Right. Please try this uh, tenth one. And uh, Amira, did you check uh, your mistake? What was the mistake? Uh, sir, I didn't get uh, the division. Oh, okay. So, uh, did you note down this part? Yes, sir. So then you guys please do this. Uh, then. We have uh, this polynomial, which is uh, this one. And uh, this information is given. This information is important. This is given. And we have to find out uh, using this uh, information. So now you guys have to write this information in uh, mathematical way. Uh, So what are you guys uh, getting? Sir, I'm getting eight by three. Okay, so Abir is uh, getting eight by three, and what about you guys? Sir, yes. I rechecked my calculation and you want to change your answer. Good. 
Yes, sir, I got KS7 now. Yes, yes. I forgot that the... Minus. No, it's half of their product. I just okay. did. It's equal to their product. Okay. Sir, I also got seven. <clears throat> And uh, Amira, what you watching? So, did you understand uh, the problem? Today I'm getting minus six. Minus six. So every answer is one. Yeah. So uh, let me let me just uh, do this problem. So we have again only thing that we know that. Uh, uh, alpha plus beta, right? Alpha plus beta is uh, how much? So that is minus B by A. So minus B is minus of uh, K plus B. And divided by A is 1. So this is K plus B, right? Minus minus cancels and this is K plus B. So alpha into beta, this is uh, 2 k minus 1 divided by 1. So this is a 2 k minus 1. Now we have alpha plus beta, alpha into beta. And uh, what is the relation that is accurate? So sum of its uh, zero, that is uh, alpha plus 1, right? So sum of its zero, this is equal to the half. So half of their product. So this is a uh, I give it right, uh, Amira. Yes, sir. And now we can just uh, plug in the values that we have calculated. So alpha plus beta is k plus six, and uh, this is uh, equal to two k minus one divided by two. So this cancels, and uh, this is k plus six. This is two k minus one. So this goes in this side. And this goes in the right direction. So we have 2k minus 1, uh, k. This is equal to 6 plus 1. So k is uh, 12. Is this uh, clear? Yes, yeah, so I should write uh, in this, uh, this way, but I have uh, just changed this uh, right and left hand side. So this is actually. This is 6 plus 1 and uh, 6 uh, 2k minus 6. But I have written this part in the left hand side, this part in the right. So, yes, that's it. Okay, is this uh, clear, Amira? Yes, sir. Yeah, please uh, note it down and uh, good. Whenever we have any uh, doubt, any questions, so this is the purpose of this class, right? Everybody will help. And uh, who got it? Oh, that's a... So we uh, got it. Okay, so did she go to sleep? Where did she sleep? Yeah, so this 11th uh, question, right? 11th question is very good. So we have a polynomial, right? And uh, this is uh, given by this. And uh, then we know if uh, what, whatever polynomial is given, so we can always calculate alpha plus beta and uh, alpha into beta. So this uh, we do, right? Now uh, we have to find out uh, the quadratic polynomial. Find quadratic polynomial whose uh, zeros are this and uh, this. So we have another polynomial, right? And its uh, zeros are one by two alpha and one by two beta, right? Okay, so how do we write uh, the polynomial? If we know the zeros, then uh, how do we write the polynomial? 
x square uh -huh. minus alpha yes. plus beta into x yeah. plus yeah. alpha beta. Good. So sum of the zeros into x plus the product of it. Good. So we have to calculate the sum of the zeros. So zeros are this one. Let's say a, which is uh, 1 by 2 alpha and uh, b. This is 1 by 2. So we have to find out the sum of a plus b product of a. So then we can write a part. Let me write it as x plus b x is all. So please uh, do this uh, question, guys. And uh, we'll do it uh, a bit. Uh, you guys, please do this problem and uh, tell me the answer. And if you guys are stuck, so then uh, we can. Uh, Guys, uh, I get some questions. Hello, guys. Uh, did you get the solution? So, got the alpha and beta, but not one by one. Oh, oh, you don't need to solve. Uh, you don't need to solve alpha and beta. 
Okay, so let me yeah, so let me do this. Sir, I got the answer as eight x square plus x minus two. Eight x square plus x minus two. Yes. Eight x square plus x minus two. Okay, so you got uh, this one. Yeah. So okay. So yeah. Uh, let me do this problem right. And uh, alpha plus beta is how much, uh, Amira? Minus b by. Minus b by, and that would be from this uh, point of end. What would be that? One by four. One by four, right? And uh, this alpha into beta. This is minus four by four. So that is uh, minus one, right? Yes. Now, now we know alpha plus beta, and we know alpha into beta. But we have to find uh, this sum of the zeros, right? So sum of the zeros that would be one by two alpha plus uh, one by two beta, right? So this is one by two. I can take common, and this is uh, one by alpha plus one by beta. Right, so one by two, and uh, this is alpha into beta, and again this is alpha plus beta. So this alpha plus beta we know, right? That is one by four, and uh, then alpha into beta is uh, minus. So this is one by two, and minus is here, and then one by four. So this is minus one by eight, right? Yes, and then uh, product would be how much? So product uh, would be one by two alpha, one by two beta. These are the product of the zeros, right? Yes, sir. So one by two, one by two, so one by four alpha into beta, and uh, alpha into beta is minus one, right? So this would be minus uh, one by four. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we have sum of the zeros. We have product of the zeros, so we can write uh, the polynomial as uh, x square minus of and uh, sum of the zero, which is minus one by eight, and uh, plus product of the zero, which is one by eight. So this is uh, x square plus uh, oh, x, so one by eight x, and uh, minus uh, one by eight. So this is uh, the polynomial, right? And uh, Tejas, we you have uh, written the quadratic equation, right? So if you put it yes, equal, to, yeah. So if you put it equal to zero, then we can solve uh, it to that one. So polynomial would be this, right? And uh, yeah, quadratic equation would be this one. Whatever, so what did you get? Eight x square, right? If we take uh, the LCM. Then this would be eight, so this is eight x square plus x and uh, minus two, right? But uh, we don't have any zero in the right hand side, right? So this would be the quadratic equation, but polynomial would be this. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, you Amira, you please uh, note it down and uh, yeah, let me say some person at at the groups are have to check that. Please uh, note it down and uh, give me one. Sir, can you please scroll down?
yes uh, noted yeah Yes, Samira, did you note it down? Yes, I noted. Oh, noted. Yes, sir. Then uh, let us see next uh, question. Okay, so this uh, this question we have done. This is exactly the same, right? And this thirteen problem is about uh, find the zeros of the polynomial and verify the relationship between the zeros and the equation. So this you have done numerous times, right? All these uh, questions you guys have done. So now let us uh, do one uh, important question uh, that uh, we have discussed at some point. Okay, so this is uh, the question. Okay, so this is starts uh, what? So please do the first part. You have uh, you guys have done the second part, right? You guys uh, know how to calculate uh, this one. So this is the second part, right? So this is you guys all. So please uh, do this uh, this part, right? Please uh, do this part. So you have this uh, quadratic polynomial and uh, you know what is alpha plus beta, you know what is alpha into beta and you guys have to find out what is alpha square plus beta square. So this uh, we have done. Please uh, do this. Yes, guys. Yeah, did you guys uh, get the answer?
Sasa ijetu ya na mina dikuka ize kenti ya. Yes, of course. Uh, I got as uh, three by five and second I got as. So you also calculated the second one. The second one you already have calculated. Okay, so alpha square plus beta square, you have got uh, 3 by 5. So this is what uh, digits we got. And uh, Amira, what about you? So, so if there is any confusion, please uh, let me know, Amira. Yes, Amira. And it will be the good thing. Yes, Amira, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah, so did you understand this box? Yes, sir. So, did you get the solution? Remember? Sir, I got 2 by 25. 2 by 25? Oh. Okay, so now let us understand. Right. So, in the polynomial, uh, we always know this quantity. Alpha plus beta, alpha into beta. Alpha plus beta is minus 1, alpha into beta is 1 by 2. Right. Now, uh, we have to find out uh, this quantity. So we have to relate uh, this thing with uh, this one. And we know the relation of the perfect uh, square. So we know this identity, which says that A plus B whole square, this is uh, A square plus uh, B square plus 2A, right? Yes, sir. So when we compare this with alpha and beta, so alpha plus beta whole square, this would be alpha square plus uh, beta square plus 2 alpha into beta, right? And yes, we have sir. to calculate uh, this quantity. If we have to calculate this one, so we take this in the other side. So alpha square plus beta square, this would be alpha plus beta whole square minus of 2 alpha beta, right, uh, Amira? Yes, sir. Then uh, this uh, we know. So alpha plus beta is minus 1 whole square minus of 2 alpha into beta is uh, how much? 1 by 5, right? Okay. So then this would be how much? 1 minus uh, 2 by 5. So which is uh, 5 minus 2, which is uh, 3 by 5. So as what uh, the next one. Right, uh, Amira? Yes, sir. Good. So please uh, note it down and then this polynomial chapter is uh, right. Please uh, note it down. Good. So then let us now this polynomial chapter is over. So now the next chapter that we do is this linear equation, right? And equation uh, number number.
Yeah, so where did a bill go? Did she go to sleep? Maybe she was there. Maybe she went to prepare for the English. And you guys, I can see in the group, uh, can uh, see the best wishes with me, right? Okay, so the linear equation in two phases. We have studied about the uh, degree of the polynomial, right? So if the degree of the polynomial, if uh, the degree of the polynomial is uh, one, so that is called uh, the linear polynomial, right? And if we write uh, subsequently the equation, so that would be linear. But uh, in the in this chapter we have uh, two variables, right? So if we represent so representation of linear equation in a two variables. So how do we represent uh, that? So that is represented by uh, ax plus uh, by plus c equals to 2, right? So this is a linear equation where the x and y are the variables and uh, a, b, c are the constant and coefficients, right? Are coefficients. So these are the things, right? This is the representation, and this is uh, the algebraic representation, right? Similarly, we have this graphical representation. So graphical representation of a linear equation in two variables would be a straight line. Right? So let's say this is x and uh, y axis. So this would be the representation of the linear equation in two variables, and uh, that is a straight line. Right. So this is the graphical representation, and the other one is the statistical. But if we want to solve uh, the linear equation, right, and uh, we have two variables, two unknowns, then we require two linear equations. So then we require pair of linear equations. So how do we represent uh, those uh, pair of linear equations? So pair of linear equation. In two variables, and uh, again, one is this uh, algebraic representation. So algebraic representation is a one x plus b one y plus c one uh, equals to zero, and then you have a two x plus uh, b two y plus uh, C2, that is again equal to zero. So these are pair of linear equation in two Right. And uh, graphically, so graphically we can have uh, three scenarios. Graphical uh, representation. So in graphical representation, there would be two straight lines for each uh, Two straight lines for each uh, equation, right? And there could be three possibilities. So one would be that uh, those two lines are parallel, right? So they are parallel. And uh, the other possibility could be that uh, they are inverse. Right, and uh, the last one would be that they are coinciding. Right, they are coinciding. Right, 
these are the three cases in the graphical representation and uh, from the algebraic representation we can find out whether this uh, these without uh, making the actual graph right from the algebraic representation we can also find out that what kind of uh, these uh, two equations right so the algebraic uh, method to finding out uh, the behavior of the straight line and uh, how do we do that by comparing the coefficients right so if we have a1 by a2 that is not equal to b1 by b2 so that is uh, the intersecting line and uh, this has a unique uh, solution right and if we have a solution then that represents a consistent equation right and uh, the second case is that if we have a1 by a2 this is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 so this is a parallel line and if lines are parallel then we have no solution and if we don't have any solution so that is the inconsistent solution or inconsistent equation and uh, then we have the third case which is uh, all the ratios are equal and this is called the coincident line and we have many solutions and uh, this is again because we have a solution so that is called the consistent okay so this is the algebraic method of finding out whether the we have consistent or inconsistent equation whether we have intersecting parallel or coincident line or whether we have unique solution no solution or many solutions so all these things we can find out uh, without making the graph right and uh, yeah so in the subsequent exercise we will see that if we have a unique solution then how can we find out uh, the unique solution so what one obvious way is the graphical solution right the solution of solution of pair of linear equation one is this a uh, graphical one and uh, in the graphical one let's say we have uh, this graph and we draw two uh, straight lines so this is the point uh, where, they, where they are intersecting right so whatever the x coordinate of uh, this point are and whatever the y coordinate so that would be the solution of uh, these uh, two pair of equations right so this is uh, the graphical uh, solution and uh, then the second uh, solution is algebraic solution so algebraic solution has uh, two methods one method uh, which you guys don't use uh, regularly substitution method 
and then all of your favorite elements. Right, so these are the things that we have studied in this uh, linear equation in uh, right? So, did we study any other thing? Yeah, is, is there uh, anything else that we are uh, missing? Yes, Yeah, these are the concepts that we will need in the uh, linear equation in this slide. So then let us discussion. Uh, first batch, uh, we did a start uh, discussion. Uh, this batch. So first one is this graphical one. Right? That is really what uh, they may ask this graphical one. Yeah, so who is this? RJ Bhatta. Oh. So in geometry, his greatest achievement was an accurate value of Y. Yeah. So now let us uh, graphical one we have to try, right? I can only tell you about the methods or the idea part uh, you guys have to solve this, right? What is the first question? Show graphically the system of equation has uh, no solution, right? Which means that we have to show that these graphs are parallel to each other, right, everybody? Yes, sir. So to make uh, the graph, uh, what do we do? We uh, generate uh, some points, right? So let's say we have this equation. 3x plus 2y equal to 7. So we find out what is the values of uh, x and y. Right. So let's say, yeah. So let's say that uh, we are finding out the value at uh, y equals 2. So if I take uh, x equals to y equals to 2, so this would be 2 to the 4. Right, so at uh, y equals two, we can choose any points. Right, generally I use uh, x equals to zero and y equals to zero. But if I choose that value, then uh, in this case this would be decimal. So, uh, it'd be safer to be in the safer side. We pick those values where these are simple values. So at y equals to two. Right, this would be 2 into 2, 4. So 3x plus 4 equals to 7. So 3x would be 7 minus 4. This is uh, 3. So x would be 1. Right, so that is why I have chosen this point. Now at x equals to 1. So x equals to 1 we have. Had. So at x equals to at x equals to 2, this would be 6. So that is also again uh, x equals to 0, this is 3.5. So we can take x equals to, let's say, 3. Right? So at x equals to 3, at x equals to 3, this is 3 into 3 plus uh, 2y equals to 7. So this is 9 plus 2y equal to 7. This is 2y equal to 7 minus 9, which is minus 2. So y is minus 2 by 2, which is uh, minus 1. So these are good points. These are integers that we can 
point out in the uh, graph, right? So this is uh, three and minus. So these are the points, right, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, we can also we have to also find out uh, this graph four x plus four uh, y equals five. So what should we choose as first x if I take uh, y equal to Let's say I choose the x equals to three, that is not the right. This is greater than if I take this as five. So twenty that is not the five. So this is not the six like twenty four minus five. That is again nine. What should we choose? Seven, right? Twenty-eight uh, minus five. So eight, that is minus. Why we cannot choose? Uh, okay, so let's take uh, minus one, minus two. So if I take minus two, so this is eight, thirty. If I take minus three, twelve, seven. Okay. What we have any simple number, right, guys? What we have any simple number? What should we take? Uh, what should we take in this case? What is the value of y that that we should take? Nine plus one. Zero. Yeah, if we take zero, so this would be six, would be five. X would be five by six, which is a decimal, right? So that is what I have kept because this would be zero point eight, and then three, and then three. So zero point eight three three that would be problematic in uh, in the graph, right? So marking zero point eight three three would be. Okay, so you guys uh, check what should be what should be the values, right? And you guys uh, make the graph of this one and see whether they are parallel, right? In the yes, uh, you guys try this at your find out at what value this would be simple numbers. We can do without uh, those numbers, but yeah, so 0.83 we can uh, 0.83 we can uh, point out. Right, so it has ten divisions between, uh, let's say, zero point, uh, let's say zero point seven and zero point eight. So that is greater than zero point eight and zero point nine. Right, so this zero point eight three three would be in uh, here. Zero point eight, zero point eight one, eight two, eight three. So between this one, so this is uh, zero point eight three. But uh, to save you guys from these uh, marking, we should choose a simple one, right? So you guys try this question and we will discuss uh, this in the next class, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you guys have this class assessment. So please, uh, whenever you guys leave this class, so go to the learning view account uh, and uh, see the class assessment section.